Hey there. You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? Sure thing. Here's what I have. Another satisfied customer. Take care of yourself. Watch it, will you? Hmm. You there! What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point! I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm... How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Of course you do. Did you need something? You don't look hurt. What can I do for you? That old story? Well, now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was, there was an android, escaped from the Commonwealth up north from some place called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Sure thing. Hey. Did you need something? Is everything all right? Any trouble in this area?
Hello, ma'am. Good to see you. Mighty fine thing you did. Either start talking or get the fuck out of my face. And children of the earth, come forth to gather. Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to breathe. Really. <laughs> What do you need? Good hunting! If you've got the caps, I've got the skill. say it was all a hoax, but it's real. Here, check out this holotape I found. That Commonwealth robot was real. Good luck with that research. What'll it be today? We've got some noodles, and the Brahmin steak is pretty good, too. Hey, I won't say it's all fresh, but it'll keep you going. Enjoy. Remember us if you need something. Blendings of the promise of our division in the time.
weather. Oh, yeah. Here, you can have this stuff. I found it when I was looking around the rest of the ship. I'll keep an eye on the ship for you. Any need something? Here you go. Be careful down there.
Thank you for your help with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Well now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Yeah, that's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Whatever, just get the outfit off of one of them while you're playing hero. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. Then we'll head out to the pit.